the fans vlog here. We are on the train leaving Roma Termini and heading to Florence. It's like an hour and a half train, so not that bad. So I'll show you some of the sights along the way, but figured I would start this vlog because we are leaving Rome now. I'm in Rome. <laughs> this is our setup. So we just did a little walking around today and now we are on the rooftop bar grabbing drinks. Um, but check out this view. We are about to head out for our first full day in Florence. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit before we leave. Um, this is what I am wearing. There's just this white tee. This is from H&M and this faux leather skirt also from H&M. And then I just have these white sneakers on. These are from Primark. My earrings are Lulu's and then these two hair pieces or either Lulu's or Toby.com, I'm not sure. That is today's look. Where's your outfit from? Probably Target. The whole thing? Probably. <laughs> we are at St. Maria Novella. I'm checking out the little piazza. Is that what it is? Piazza. piazza. And the church right is right there. just walked to the Duomo and seriously amazing like wait till you guys see this but it's just one of those places where it's like how do they even build that or take the time to create something that looks like that just did another big climb and are on top of Giada's Campanelli or bell tower um, and you can see the top of the cupola or dome over there of the Duomo but we weren't able to get tickets to it because it sold out until Monday so we're doing everything else in the hotel room. Mark went down to the gym to get a quick workout in and then I just got changed and freshened up a little bit because we are heading to Piazza 
D. Michelangelo. That's wrong, I believe. But we're heading up there. It's like a hill with steps and stuff. Um, and you can sit up there and watch the sunset, which as you guys saw last night is gorgeous here. So we're heading up there to watch the sunset. We have some bottles of wine we actually got as a complimentary thing with our, oh, and he's back from the gym. We got bottles of wine as a complimentary thing with our um, stay in Rome and we didn't drink those there because that was kind of a whirlwind of a trip. So we brought them and we're going to drink them tonight up um, on that hill and watch the sunset. And then we made dinner reservations um, at a place like right around the corner from there. So then we're gonna head there after for dinner. Um, but while we were in the little merchant area today um, I picked up a couple or four magnets so I have four employees and um, if you guys saw my grease vlogs I like to get my employees something when I'm away especially when I'm away for in this case two weeks so I picked up two different types of magnets um, I just thought they were cute and something like they sit in cubes and have desks that are actually magnetic so they could stick these on their desk or take them home um but this is one and then this is the other one so i'll package these up in like little bags and stuff and write thank you notes to thank them for all their hard work and handling stuff while i'm gone <laughs> with broccoli and shrimp and buffalo mozzarella pizza with tomatoes and beef. <laughs> gelato at La Carrera which I walked by the bridge accidentally and we had to walk all the way back. We walked to the wrong bridge because she thought it was the wrong bridge. Someone was not impressed. What flavor did you get? Mint. And I got pistachio and it's delicious. We are about to head out for our wine tour through like Tuscany. So I want to show you guys my outfit. Um, it is just this really pretty dress from Lulu's. It has a very deep V, but we're going with it. And then I just have these sandals on from Forever 21. And then I curled my hair and just did my standard makeup of this trip so it's like an hour-long bus tour and then we get a couple wine tastings and some other stuff so i will update you guys when we're doing something outside of this room Arno, and in the background to the left you can see the bell tower and the Brunelleschi cupola okay so before um, getting to our first winery I have some uh, some uh, some recommendations and also uh, kind of favors to ask you folks uh, Yeah. 
probably one of the more beautiful places I have seen in this trip. I just love how much nature there is. Mark kept saying that it looks like kind of similar to where we live just because of how green it is, but it's just absolutely beautiful with all of the vineyards and the trees and everything. So it's really stunning and definitely a highlight of this trip. We are off on our last full day in Florence and today is a lot more sightseeing so we are going to see the Pitti Palace <laughs> first, it just sounds funny, and then there are the Bovolini Gardens there and then we're going to see the Statue of David and what else do we have? Um, a Basilica Palazzo Vecchio. Palazzo Vecchio and then the Basilica of Santa Crocere. Um, so we are walking over there now and I'm sure I will film each one of those spots and all of the, the cool stuff that we see. and his dog. Walking up another steep incline. It's what we do around here, apparently. Right, Mark? <laughs> She's working so hard. conditioning <laughs> the amount of detail and everything is insane and beer and we're just taking them away and eating them on the street. 